Good day everyone and welcome back to my channel, First Order Traveller. I'm in Gilier. Where's that? I hear you cry. Well, I'm about to tell you and show you around. Okay, Gilier is in Indonesia. When many people talk about going to Indonesia, they talk about going to Bali. This is pretty much a generic term because there really is a lot more to offer in Indonesia than just Bali. Let me show you a little map. So Bali is an island to the left of this map. To the right is another island called Lombok. On the northwest coast of Lombok are three islands, the Gili Islands. Gili Trawangan, Gili Mino and Gili Air, which is where I am now. Now the best way I can describe these islands is by using the Destiny's Child example. What is this I hear you cry? Well let me tell you. So Gili Mino, let's start with that one. That's the one in the middle. This is basically Michelle from Destiny's Child. It's quiet, it's pretty, doesn't really do much, not many people go there. Let's move on to Gilly T. This is Beyonce, the big, loud, brash island that everyone goes to to have a laugh and party and probably do weed and get drunk a lot. That brings me down to Kelly Rowland. That is Gilly Air, that's where I am now. The best way I can describe this place is it's somewhere in between both of those islands. So how do you get to Gilly Air or any of the Gilly Islands for that matter? Well, let me tell you. So from Kuta, you can get a boat, a fast boat, Tip of the day, don't book this online because it's more expensive than if you book it through your hostel or book at one of the boat companies on the island. You can either get a single one-way ticket or you can get a return ticket which is more economical basically. This will cost you about 600,000 Indonesian rupiah, which is the currency, I'll go on to that later. Now this ticket is an open ticket so basically you just have to confirm your booking the day before you want to leave. So as long as you've got a return ticket, don't lose it, so you can get back to Bali. Okay, on the subject of currency, over to that side of the screen is 1 million Indonesian rupiah. This is equivalent to 58 British pounds. You'll find that, as with most places in Southeast Asia like this, it is relatively cheap compared to Western currencies. For a breakfast of something like an omelette or pancake with Nutella, you'd be expecting to pay about 20,000 rupiah, which isn't much at all. We are, of course, on an island, a paradise island. Oh shit, the water's gonna come. Don't worry, it's not. So yeah, we're on a paradise island. Of course, one of the main things you can do in a island like this is things like diving. You can do a paddy diving course, or you can go snorkeling. Check out my video, up the link there, where you can see me go snorkeling in Gilead. Also Gili T and Gilimino. You can do a tour where basically you go to all three islands for five hours. It's cost you 100,000 Indonesian rupiah. And another thing to watch out for on all of the Gili Islands is drugs. Yes, kids, drugs are bad. Just say no. Shrooms or magic mushrooms are basically the biggest business here in terms of drugs. You can, of course, get weed and stuff like that. But yeah, shrooms are the way to go. Not that I do drugs or do shrooms, of course. Never done them in my life. You'll basically be offered these on every street corner or anywhere when you're walking around the island. So just be polite, just say no. Drugs are bad. Okay, before I show you a bit more of Gilier, 
let's just cover off the last couple of Indonesia basics. So plug adapters are the same as the ones you use in Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia. They're two round pin plugs, very simple. Visas, getting into the country, if you're a UK citizen, an Indonesian visa is free for 30 days, similar to Thailand. Okay, here's a gilly tip. Yes, a gilly tip. When you're in Kuta, make sure you change your money into smaller denominations as well as possible. Because on the Gilly Islands, generally, they don't have a lot of small notes, small change. So you'll normally get your notes in 100,000 rupiah notes, but you'll have an issue because a lot of people can't give the right change because there are not enough little notes. So make sure you try and change as much as possible before you get here. So the north of the island is a lot more secluded and quiet. I'm now walking through the middle of the island back to where I'm staying, which is on the south, where the boats drop you off, basically. So the beaches are much nicer up here, much quieter. There's a lot of resorts and lodges and bungalows, things like that. in the daytime, it's time to have a look at night. Okay, I hope that's given you a good introduction to Gilly Air and in fact the other Gilly Islands. Have you enjoyed this video? Leave a like down the bottom, leave a comment as well, especially if you've been here too. What were your experiences on the Gilly Islands? Stay tuned on this playlist because there's some more videos coming up. I'm going to Gilly Tea next. There's going to be a video about Gilly food and also Gilly snorkeling, of course. Now, as you can see, my tan needs a slight bit of work, understatement of the century. So why don't you leave me to that and I'll catch you later. This is where